We are seeing these storms still below the severe limits, but right where we were thinking they would develop for today, right along the 35 corridor, and they continue to push their way from the west to the east. So we've had some reports of some small, some small pea sized hail in parts of Tarrant County. You can see over the last hour how this line of storms is trying to get going just a bit more. We do have our storm chaser, Mike Prendergast, out right now in the Midlothian area. As we take his shot, you're able to see the dark skies there as he's driving around as well. Uh, so right now, nothing has reached those severe limits, but just make sure you stay weather aware on this first alert weather day. We are going to continue to watch these storms as they're moving their way through. Coming back to the maps, that's Mike right there. You can see the shot that he came from. So storm making its way into parts of Dallas County, also into parts of Ellis County, uh, through Itasca near Maypro, all pushing their way well off towards the east, just a bit more for us. So that's why we do have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect until 10 o'clock. That does include the east sides in the Metroplex and the east sides of North Texas. West of 35, you might not see any rain at all. You're seeing some sunshine as a dry line is pushing its way from west to east. So the thinking is we'll continue to see these storms developing over the next hour to two hours and then into the early evening hours, developing more into a line. And as they develop into more of a line, that's when the wind threat goes up and the hail threat comes down. This is all ahead of a cold front that's going to move through and drop our temperatures a bit going into tomorrow. But still, the threat is there of maybe some golf ball size hail or larger and also the potential of winds gusting up to 50 to 60 miles per hour. That's why there is a slight risk of severe storms through the evening hours as these storms are developing 